the new wheelchair does not fit in the van that we have. Um, the chair is too wide for the ramp and it also is too tall so Ian's head can't clear the roof of the van. And so it seems like we keep coming back to that place where we're a little bit stuck but I have this fire in me to make anything happen for my son. Heather's fire led to an outreach to her Dream Ride community family on Facebook and social media. Local retailers like Dave's Marketplace supported fundraising efforts for Ian's new van. And soon these efforts were brought to the attention of the North Providence Mayor's Office. After receiving hundreds of recommendations and support from the Dream Ride community, the miracle of a new van for Ian came true. So we go to an auction, a state auction, about six weeks ago, and I walk by this van. And I said to the fellow that's in charge of our maintenance department, I said, we need to buy this van. And I said, there's someone out there that needs this van. And lo and behold, Ian needed the van. We didn't know this at that time. And believe me, I have a stack of emails from a lot of you people here in support of Ian getting this van. Ian, buddy, you enjoy good health. If I find out that you're speeding with this van, I'm gonna call the police chief on you. Oh God. Oh God. We love you, buddy. This is a community that cares. This is what we do here in North Providence. Give me a hug. It feels like a lot of love, and it, I feel blessed to be part of this community. It's freedom and independence that he hasn't had. It's, it's not just today. It's, it's an all-year lifetime change. We've got family and friends now that I know we will have for a lifetime.